Hey, Ag Teacher Thoughts here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to look at another plant pest. Now I have one that's actually right here on uh, this bud of a lilac plant. And looking at this, this is definitely where these, uh, these particular insects were laid last fall. And now they've start, started to reproduce and they're forming a very thick uh, mat of insects. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a sample of some of these insects. We're going to put them in our collection jar. We're going to take them over to where I've got my microscope attachment for my phone. And we're going to take an up close look at it. So give me a moment to select off some creatures. Let's see if this is going to work. I don't think it's going to work that way. I think we're going to have to take them this way. And these are all definitely in real juvenile forms here. Ooh, we might have some special ones. Yep, get them in there. We're gonna take a look at that and see how they go. Let me see if I can find a few more to take, to go take a nice close look at. So I've got them all in my specimen jar. <laughs> I've squished a whole bunch of them. But we're gonna take them over there, we're gonna put them under some magnification and use that brand new uh, magnifying uh, lens. It's actually technically a microscope that I have for our phone. It magnifies them 200 times. I got some great shots of the thrips last time and we'll see what we can do with this one. If you haven't guessed yet, they're aphids. Let's take a close up look at some aphids. So for those of you that have been asking, this is my microscope that I've been using. Uh, what it basically is is a lens that flips over or clips over the phone. It magnifies it 200 times and this little white ring around here is just really an LED ring light. So there's not any electronics that connect into my phone here. This is simply just using my existing camera, magnifying that, and then providing light so we can get a nice close-up. So give me a moment while I get that attached. There we go. There are some aphids. Yeah, they don't seem to be very active. Ooh, one of them's kind of hiding there. So these are some early N-star stages of aphids. Try to get in focus for you. You can see that they are still alive, although it is really kind of hard on them for me to, to cut them off of their uh, plant specimen. So you can see they're, they're uh, living there. Let's see if we can find another one that might be in a little bit better shape. Oh, I think those are aphids. They might actually be something else. No, I think they're aphids. They could be mealybugs. I don't know. I might have to get a second opinion on these. I know we did have an aphid around earlier that had... Yeah, I think that's aphids. It could be something else. It could be either a type of mealybug or it could be an aphid. I'm still leaning towards aphids here. But this is a part of, of why it's good to have a magnifier. So you, you can look at those up close images and then you can decide for yourself. Pretty sure this is aphids. Although I'm not so sure. I bet you that's an aphid right there. But anyway, this is one of the things that's really nice. That looks like an aphid. That's really nice to be able to look close up at some of these uh, insects. Let's try this other one. So if you're not able to tell from your naked eye, you can always bring in one of these magnifiers and get a better shot at it. Yeah, there's a side shot there. Let's take a look at some of these. There we go. They are definitely early in star stage and there is some some there's some skin that they have sloughed off. I still do believe that this is aphids. Although I'll have to review the footage later. You can see how they kind of work around there. Now these are a sucking insect, so they do feed on plant sap. Uh, so they are coming in and uh, inserting a, a, a proboscis down into the plant tissue. And then once they have that, uh, they suck out the internal juices and then they excrete the excess fluid out their back end in the form of a honeydew. So let's take a look at that one. 
Uh, whatever these are, it is an early stage. The aphids we had ar flying around here this fall had this uh, waxy buildup on their abdomens. And I think that's I think that's what this is, is an early instar stage of aphids. So uh, theoretically, these would all be female because aphids only produce flying aphids in times of stress or in the end of fall. I was using our clip-on microscope to take pictures of it. Uh, that's how it works. You can see the little ring light there that's, that's working away and it allows us to get nice close-up shots. So basically it clips over the camera and then the little ring light illuminates it. Uh, but that's a, a close-up on the critters that we have and I'm going to uh, consult with my expert and then look at some early instar stages of aphids. But looking how they look on the plant and the close-up, I still just believe that this is an early instar stage of aphids. And you can see, you can see that they're, they're actually quite, let's get that focus, they're actually quite small. So telling with the naked eye is, is sometimes difficult. But just, you know, looking at how that is, uh, looking at how that is on that leaf and then on the plant, I would definitely say aphid. So hey, if you are an ag teacher, I'd go ahead and get some of these to clip on your phones. Uh, probably not a whole bunch for the class. I think it was 50 some dollars for this one plus shipping off of Amazon. Uh, I'm not an affiliate, so I get nothing out of this. This is all just uh, free advice for right now. Um, so if you like these, go ahead and grab those. Um, I'll try to post a link down there. I might give it a, a, you a link from one of my other favorite YouTubers. They're the one that turned me on to this. Uh, but anyway, I hope it's useful for you. Uh, still, always use the hand loops, but one of the things that's really, really nice is if you do need to consult with someone else, kind of like I'm going to do uh, to verify this is an early NSTAR stage, I can take those images, capture them off my screen, and then send them directly to someone rather than trying to line up my phone with a loop. Although... Nothing beats a loop, really, of still being able to grab that insect and look up close. So this is just another technological tool for you. And then also, if you're like me, where you like to shoot YouTube videos for your students while you're not around, uh, that can actually help there a lot, too. Anyway, hope you learned something today. Ag Teacher Thoughts out.